What is up, everybody? Standing Ovation here again with another break. And this one's going to be a little different. No different than the fact that I'm going to open up a box of baseball cards this time. It's 2023 Don Ross Baseball. Uh, it's a blaster box. 15 cards per pack, 6 packs per box. 90 cards total. What I'm going to do here is I, I'll back it up a bit. I'm not a big fan of Don Ross Baseball. I actually, you know what, any product that isn't licensed by a manufacturer, I just don't really collect it's something i've for forever in a day i always distinguished when i was a kid cards that were licensed and non-licensed and it stuck with me i don't know i'm just a fin finicky on that but i'm not saying people shouldn't collect it it's just my cup of tea isn't all about non-licensed products so don ross is probably if you're gonna if i'm gonna be picking one this would probably be the best one to go for it's been around for a while don ross is uh you know it's a no well-known name in baseball at least since what 1981 Anyway, I'm going to rip this open and, and uh, I'll, you'll see what you get, just like always. But in this time, I'm going to try to cross-promote myself. I, I sell on eBay. That's what I've been doing for, well, since before eBay was born, I was on eBay. No, that doesn't make sense. But I was there like a long time ago, been selling ever since. Not a lot of people buy and sell on eBay anymore, but it seems like sports cards guys are the what's probably keeping eBay going, them and the Pokemon and the Magic people. But... Um, I don't know. I, I do well on eBay. I've, I've had a lot of interaction with customers over the years. And as I now am in the card thing full time for the next foreseeable future, hopefully forever, um, this this will maybe hopefully get some action towards my, you know, some attention, get get people looking at my eBay store, mark me as a favorite seller. I always put it down below in there. But again, not a lot of people are always buying. Sometimes you're just watching. I'm not trying to sell everything I got, but it's what I do. I, I you know, I can't just afford to rip all these boxes. I have to sell. So, this product is not one I'm going to end up keeping. And I, I ended up with this box kind of inadvertently how I bought it. That's a long story, but I have this box. And instead of saving it and putting it on the shelf, we're trying to resell it and flip it. I'm just going to open it up. And whatever I get, I'm going to put up on eBay for auction. Because, again, eBay is all about auctions. At least it used to be. When I started on eBay, there was no buy it now. There was no PayPal. There was nothing. People just would buy auctions and then they'd mail you the money. It was great. You have wake up every morning and it'd be like cash in my mailbox. I know people would mail cash, I, you know, checks, postal orders, but anyway, that was back in the day, way back in the 1900s. Um, now it's all about online buying, buy it now, get the best price you can, and so whatever. I'm going to use this as like a promotional and advertising, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to advertise for myself. I'll sell these all at $9.99 plus $7.99 shipping, that's U.S. prices, on an auction. And if there's no action, there's no action, but I'm pretty sure 10 bucks, like this costs more than $10. And plus ship, if you add the shipping, I bought this in Canada. It was $40 plus tax. I think that's what, the, I have to look at the invoice. Might have got a little bit cheaper, but it, you know, in that area. Uh, so for, you know, I'll, I'm prepared to take a loss and hopefully not a big one because I can say 10 bucks and, and then the shipping. But whatever I get, I'm not going to ship the base cards just because they're bulky. And I mean, if you really, really, really want the base, I suppose, you know, right, that you have to have them. But it's mostly inserts, right? Like... That's what it's all about, at least in uh, in my mind. I mean, base cards are fun to collect, but it, again, from my perspective, it just seems more sense just to sell you the, send you the inserts. And whatever they go for, they go for. If they're not worth more than 10 bucks, well, I, I, get, I get 10 bucks for them. And uh, I get to put the word out about me and selling on eBay. And yeah, so down below is, is where you'd find all that information. Uh, click my seller's link and okay. Me talking is stopping and me opening is starting. Okay, and again, somebody told me about, I think, Don Ross, I think it was Optic, was a great rip, 2022 Optic, I, I think that's what this was supposed to be, but I involved, somehow I got involved in a regular 2023 Optic, or um, Don Ross, and as far as I know, they lost their license totally, so these are all going to be like veterans, yeah, like Goose Gossage, like people that have not played, or are not currently associated with the MLB Players Association and League, so oh, yeah, like here we go, all these veterans, Coloragas. And of course, they're every which way. And the designs from over the years, I, I'm not, sh I know these were 90s styled, but every year Don Ross always had a pretty good design. I always thought their design on the front was great, but their back design was so boring. I don't know if they are, again. Yeah, that was like the standard back in the 80s and 90s, some of the 90s. And they flipped, mixed it up. I think these would be probably, don't know what year these all are all representing, as this says. Not collecting Don Ross for many years now. Cool Papa Bell. Like, when was the last time you saw... Sorry, Harry Ford. 
a baseball card of Cool Papa Bell. And who the heck is Cool Papa Bell? I have no idea. But here's the first insert. Ben Kud... Kud... That guy. Ben Kud... Kudna. 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 Okay. I'm bad. First insert. And a Cool Papa Bell. Cool Papa. Jackson Holiday. Hey, there's a name. You know. Look at that. It's an insert, too. You're going to get yourself in on this Jackson Holiday action. Not licensed rookie, but is it a rookie? It's a first Bowman. He doesn't really have rookies yet. First Bowman is all he has, but now he has a Don Ross non-licensed card. Okay, well, they're all over the place here. Another foil card, another hit. Bobby Abreu, blue foil. And another foil, Nolan Ryan. So yeah, this stuff's loaded up with all kinds of inserts. Now we got the Cooperstown. Look at a foil on that, Nolan Ryan. Here's the Jordan Walker, rated prospect, not rookie. Diamond Kings, Randy Johnson. Randy Arozarena. No, Randy Johnson from Arizona. And he's wearing pajamas in this one, apparently. Camp Collier, rookie. Well, again, not really rookie. Kind of a rookie. And a Tink Hence. Rated you know what? I'm going to take it all back. I'll mail you all of this. Whoever wins, $7.99. North American shipping. I will sh I will ship this anywhere in North America for that seven ninety nine price, and I'll ship all the cards because I don't know these are pretty cool cards. I mean, who like you're going to get a Papa Cool Papa Bell, right? Can't deny somebody the Cool Papa Bell. But here's our inserts. They got two Nolan Ryan's, a foily foil card, Jackson Holiday, nice purple card, and a Bobby Abreu blue. No numbers on any of these, but uh, and you got a stars. And could red, could, I can't say it. Stars. Right on. Well, pack number one was pretty cool. Should I try to read all that? Like, it is probably in my interest to know what's all on there. But, you know, what, I, what I'd advise you to do, which I often do, is go to the Cardboard Connection link, type in 2023 Don Ross Baseball, and you'll see everything that you can find on that site. Of course, Don Ross is... You know, Panini site's probably pretty good too. But holy cow, I'm not yeah, I'm not gonna try to read all of that. There's a lot in here. My word. My word. Who says my word anymore? My word. My word. I just did. <laughs> okay. Okay, here's second pack. Pack from the back. I did it. I reversed the order. Mixing it up with Edgar Martinez. And this Espino, Freddie Lynn, Steve Carlton. See, I don't get it because, well, I guess Jackson Holiday wouldn't have a, a contract yet. Well, he does. I don't get how it works. But there's a rule to how, who can be on these. Uh, all to do with who's being paid, I think, by the MLB on a weekly basis. Ralph Kinnear, Kiner, Kinner, Ralph Kiner, and Robert Hassel. Okay, here we go. One sort of. I wish they'd all be the same way around. That's my pet peeve. I hate flipping and spinning and getting surprised by the back of a card. Yuri Perez. All right, Yuri Perez. Kirby Pocket. R.I.P. Kirby. Diamond Kings. Cool looking card. Ramirez. Brendan Davis. And foil. Oh, look at all that foil. Whew, sparkly. Cooperstown. Warren Spawn. Legend. They're so good at hiding the logos, too. That's the thing with Don Ross, is they're pretty good at getting good photos. But still, nothing on the hat. Meh. Could, you know, just one little letter. That would have cost a lot of money. So Jordan Walker, rated prospect, blue. Very hard to keep these in good shape. Right out of the pack, the corner's a little. Little. It's just a little, eh. Purple. Trevor Hoffman. That one's got good corners. Cal Ripken. The Ripper. Oh, look, here we go. Bobby Witt Jr. autograph. Right in the middle of a pack. What the heck is that all about? Wow. You know, it's not a rookie. It's a second year card. But there you go. It's a sticker auto of Bobby Witt Jr. One of the most popular names from last year. I got two more here. I got Kinner and Hassel. Well, I had those. So, 
this is a good little deal for somebody at $9.99 for an auction. Well, it is an auction. I am going to be honest. So high bidder is going to get a shot at uh, first pack had a Jackson holiday. Second pack's got a Bobby Witt Jr. autograph. Where did I put Jackson? Nolan Ryan. A couple of Nolan Ryans. Like, wow, this stuff is pretty loaded up. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it was 2023. I told my guy to get me the Don Ross boxes that are black loaded. And this is the one box he sent me. And I thought it was optic because I was reading the there's a comment. One of you one of you one of my fans, one of my viewers out there was tipping me off. I think that was Derek. I can't remember. Sorry, I'm bad because I checked the comments, but not daily. I try to, but I saw it a couple of times. Get some Don Ross baseball. Nolan Ryan, Carlton Fisk, Hall of Famers, Billy Stargell. It's all about Hall of Famers too. Cal Ripken, Kevin Cross. Oh, he's not a Hall of Famer. Daniel Spino, he's not a Hall of Famer. But how do they get the rookies? If they're not... Yeah. Whatever. Quit asking questions. Tom Seaver. The Mets. Ricky Tid... Tid... Tideman. 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 Al Manzar Manzardo. Ken Griffey Jr. I heard of him. Look at this. Wow. Sparkly. The Bomb Squad. Willie McCovey. Very sparkly card. The Bomb Squad. Yeah, so maybe my hate on Don Ross has been unjustified because I'm having a lot of fun ripping this. And again, logos are all... Well, logos mean a lot, actually, to me. It's the payment. Like, how could you justify the price if you didn't pay for the license? So these boxes at 40 should be 30 or 25, right? That's kind of the way my brain works. My brain does work. Not well, but it works, sort of. Uh, that was a nice willy, but here's another on nice Rod Carew. Just let's throw the Hall of Famers all over the place here. It's Randy Johnson. Nice arm, and again, a foil purple. Again, without knowing all the advanced knowledge of the product, I don't know what I'm really pulling when it happens. It happens, and I'm like, wow, cool. To all the people that open up Don Ross, sorry if I'm, duh, but I am kind of, duh, duh. Kobe Mayo. Put some mail on that one. Oh, I got a number. I got a number. Numbered out of, not a low number. It's at a 60 out of 23, 2023 20, Ichiro. A numbered Ichiro card. Ichiro. Like, you gotta like getting Ichi. Ichiro. Okay, here we go. Fisk and Ryan and Stargell and Ripken. And I saw all these. So, one after another. These packs are delivering a lot of inserts. I don't know what's better. The Bomb Squad looks kind of like a downtown attempt, but um, or an explosive attempt, but the Ichiro numbered 60 of 2023. Very limited Ichiro. <laughs> Very limited. I couldn't put him on top anyway, because there's probably more than 2,023 Ichiro collectors out there. I'm guessing. Maybe not. He does have an international flair. Sean Green, former Blue Jay. Former Blue Jay and all-around fine person. Okay, Buster Posey, John Schmoltz, Jackson, holiday. Nice base, like pre-rookie. Jacob Berry, J Chase Chung, Kate Horton, and here come the upside-down cards. I'd like them to not be upside down anymore. Ichiro, regular. Dominguez, rated prospect, kind of cheating on it. Well, he would be a rookie card. I don't know. He's not got a rookie card yet. Probably be an update for tops, right? There's Matsaka Yoshida, rated prospect, Boston. Winfield, with the Padres, although not really, because how would you know? It could be. No, it's the Padres. Oh, I just dropped some cards. I think they landed okay, though. No, nope, I damaged all of them. Sorry, folks. Whoever does win this one, there's some little corner issues because I have problems with gravity. Hopefully not a big one in here. Pomero. Sparkly. Randy Johnson. Again, I don't think I really damaged them. I think these are probably coming out of the pack just like this. But, I, you know, yeah, I might be somewhat responsible. Vladdy Sr. and Daniel Espino. There's no numbering on the purple or the foil. Purple? Lavender? Pink? 
but they, uh, they obviously parallel the set. The Diamond Kings, uh, that's probably a parallel too. It looks like all the cards have parallels. But that Palmero is uh, Mr. 3000. Sparkly, but kind of not the greatest attempt at a design. Yeah, see, there's the regular Diamond Kings, and then there's the foil version. Again, not numbered. And I don't know if there's blues and purples or whatever. Cool. Well, the big card of that, this is probably the weakest pack so far. Still got a Jackson holiday, so I'll, I'll put him up top. Two to go. Again, thanks for watching. If you haven't, tap the like button, subscribe, check me out on eBay. Come on back, watch all my other videos. All the sports get broken here. Not in any particular order, just a lot of hockey. A lot of hockey. Bobby Abreu, Ken Griffey Jr., I've gone Ivan Pudge Rodriguez. Heine Grohl, Sam Rice. Okay, those guys are old-time baseballers. Jim Edmonds and Jack Centurio. Here we go. De Los Santos. Division, Division de, de Los Santos. Wow. Michael Bush. Johnny Bench. Juan Bincho. Look at all that sparkle. King Griffey Jr. Locked and loaded. It's kind of like a vault safe, I guess. Lots of lots, lots of shimmy shine on that one. Oh, it's a purple rated rock, rated rocket, rated prospects of Tamar Termar Johnson. And again, blue, I think, foil, Schmoltz, and again, purple again of Gavin Cross. No numbering. No. These are like the numberings on the front, if you get the numbering. Again, I'm not quite sure who the best hit there was. That Termar parallel? Can't, Ken Griffey locked and loaded. It's a pretty card. But I don't know. That's, a, again, another another one that it's up to the, the, the collector, really, who you think was the best guy there. Okay, last pack. Again, thanks, everybody, for watching, tuning in again. Come on back tomorrow. I'll rip, I'll rip more. And I might do this format again to pump my... Pump my store. I'm going to do these Sunday rips, Sunday to Sunday. Generally, my auctions run and end on Sunday nights. Um, I, I will. I'll try it again with, if not the same product, another product. This stuff is pretty good. I think, you know, it, it should get a good result. And again, 40 bucks. if I lose a little, it's not a lot. It's, it's, it's more likely, you know, it's a bit of a gamble, but I like gambling. And I like ripping, so we'll see. We'll, we'll probably do something like this again. Ford and Palmero. Gonzalez, Elijah Green, and I will do a better job at trying to not drop cards or handle them. I'm not going to ever get put gloves on, but I do clean my hands. I wash. I, I wash regularly and brush my teeth. Grant McCurry, do behind my ears. Okay, that's enough. Henry Bolt and LK Line. Okay, there we go. So, it's going to finish with, wow, Henry Davis unleashed. Oh! and a hiss and a, and a big lion and all these wild animals unleashed. I like it. And we got a purple Henry Davis. We got a Larry Dolby. Dolby Larry Dolby. Purple. And a blue Yaz. Very shiny cards. Cool. Curtis Mead. Mike Piazza. Tamar, Tamar Johnson, and a Drew Jones. Wow, finish with a Drew. So there you go. That's a pretty good box. I mean, for the value, again, and no license, I guess they can kind of cheat a bit because they can throw in guys like him and guys like him and still have all the years of printing cards to know what people are going to want as far as inserts and hits and pulls. Again, I don't know the rarity of things like stars versus purple versus blue. I did have the one numbered parallel. It's only out of 2023, so nothing really, really rare. But hey, Bobby Witt Auto, that's not so bad. And a couple of, you know, Jackson Holiday, Drew Jones, a couple of Jackson Holidays. One's a foil. And uh, yeah, and a whole lot of other time. Cooperstown, a couple of Nolan Ryans. So there you go. Let's uh, let's say, should I do a quick review? Hold on a sec. I'll just, I'll, I'll organize this. 
Okay, so I broke it down a little bit, tidied up. Look at all this stuff. You got some Diamond Kings. I guess these are just part of the base set, base inserts, Diamond Kings. But there's a bunch of them. Rated Prospects. Again, it's replacing the Rated Rookies because technically they're not rookies. But, you know, you got a ton of them. And you get the Tribute or the base set, like throwback kind of design. Um, looks like one or two per pack. You know, not, not as many as the regular design of uh, the base card. But again, lots of good, lots of good hits. Not uh, completely no names as I thought it might be. You know, throwing all, some of the older veterans. It's kind of a good idea, and it's, but it's not, you know, swamped with them. And the inserts, like purple parallels. You got the Hoffman, the Cross, the Spino, Vladdy Sr., Cal Ripken. A couple of prospects. Tamar Johnson and Henry Davis, and and then of course the Jackson Holiday as well. So a nice bunch of batch of purples, um, blues or sky light blues foil. You have Breu, Yaz, Kobe Mayo with a one prospect. Nice Jordan Walker. I mean, couple of couple of good batches of of uh, parallels. Obviously, purple are more common than the than the blue foil. Then I got one stars of Kurdna, Kudra, Kurd, Kud, again, whatever. Kadura na 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 na. Uh, the Diamond Kings parallels. I got one of each color, blue and a purple. Carew and Johnson. All the sparkly foily cards. Mister Three Thousand. Rafael Palmero. Locked and loaded. Rat King Griffey Jr. The Bomb Squad. Willie McCovey. Unleashed. Henry Davis. And a couple of Cooperstown. I got Ryan and Spawn. Like wow. The purple foil of the tribute cards. I got Randy Johnson, Nolan Ryan, and Larry Doby. A blue foil of the tribute cards, John Smoltz. A red foil, again, these are numbered, out of 2023, each hero. The Bobby Witt Jr. autograph with, again, a Jackson Holiday and Drew Jones base cards. Again, probably the highlights of the base. But there you go. There's a whole lot in that box for $9.99. Check it out. It starts tonight. It ends next Sunday night, seven-day auction. Uh, North America, $7.99 shipping. You can buy anything else for, I think I charge 50 cents extra, but I'll throw it in. If there's other stuff you see in there, free shipping on anything extra you might buy at the same time. Thanks for watching. Keep on collecting, folks. Standing ovation out.